Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on March 15th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at world weather, space weather, earthquakes and volcanoes. Starting out here looking at the sun, 304 angstroms. You can see plasma filaments with this light and as well bright fiery sunspot region. Looking here, last 48 hours incoming. You can see a fiery region just getting ready to crest over. Looking at outgoing images here. Another close look at the incoming bright region. Looking here at another light, able to see coronal holes, sunspots, and as well, look at this bright region in the top left northwest of the sun right beside that bright fiery sunspot region which will be incoming should be interesting having a look here at the solar x-ray flux geomagnetic magnetic activity remains very low real-time solar wind we are back down to 443 kilometers per second after jumping up to 541 and even faster over the last 48 hours we're also seeing the density go down. Looking here, the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 16. Still very quiet, calm frequency. Quality of 8.8, .8, amplitude of 16. Let's have a look at earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. We're going to start out here most recently. Indonesia, 4.6. Or sorry, in Japan, 4.6, 187 kilometer depth. Indonesia has been a hot spot today. Deep earthquake right in between Luatolo and Sengang Api. Looking here at a 4.6 in Malama, Philippines, as well a 4.7 in Santiago. That's just east of Atual Volcano. This one here, 4.3 deep, and that is right between Luatolo and Sengig Api volcanoes. 5.3 here in uh, Papua New Guinea. Earthquake started to calm down through the Kermadex. The aftershocks from the large 8.1 a couple weeks ago. We did have a 4.6 here at the Fiji, Fiji region. That is the deepest today. And the largest is at the 5.3 Papua New Guinea. Just have to switch this over to EMSC for earthquakes. And it shows more earthquakes down here in the New Zealand area. I don't know why they don't just put them all together into one app. And as well, GeoNet. GeoNet shows more earthquakes down in northern New Zealand. Largest reporting today, the 3.7. So yeah, on our way to South American plate, 4.4 here at 198 kilometer depth, and as well a 4.2 in Peru, 61 kilometer depth, 4.5 El Salvador. And as well, there was another earthquake, a 5.3, in the Mexico border region down there, not reported USGS, only EMSC. Dominican Republic still seeing earthquakes, as well as Eastboro, Kansas, seeing another 3.1 and a 3.2 today. 
2.5 there in Texas as well a 2.7 2.7 Manadero BC border as well 2.6 Pinnacles California Stanley Idaho with a few shakers today as well 3.0 and a 3 uh, 2.7 minor quakes Alaska quiet except for a 3.9 here Atka Alaska Hawaii seeing many earthquakes this morning started out with a 4.1 as well as seeing a 2.6 there so Hawaii is the hot spot today many earthquakes in the region USGS I just wanted to show you here this is the last 30 days for quakes on the big island largest being the 4.1 today so stay aware and prepared my friends and family in Hawaii you're already dealing with many flooding conditions right now as well so thoughts and prayers to you overlooking the rest of the earthquakes last 24 hours Greece as well with a 4.9 this morning and as well a 4.4 in Turkey so there's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Have a quick look at the last seven days, right before I show you one more earthquake, I guess, the 4.9 middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the last seven days for earthquakes. Still looking at very elevated rings across the planet, deep earthquakes going on right now. And I do believe our next movement most likely will be Central America or through the Indian African plate Australian plate into the Kermadec seems to be a lot of release but not much release here North American plate into Central and North into Iceland where the quakes continue there as well and that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here where we look at the most recent volcanoes being updated. Starting out here with Semeru, Indonesia, Pacaya in Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, Dokono, Indonesia, Sabincaya in Peru, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Era in Japan, Sinabung, Indonesia, Etna in Italy, Senge in Ecuador, Mamatambo, Nicaragua, Ebco in Russia, Lubatolo, Indonesia, and as well Rung, Indonesia. So that's many earthquakes being updated today. And we're I'm sure we're well over now. 53, maybe even 56 active and erupting volcanoes around the world thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across missouri as tornado warnings are popping up as well flood warnings through kentucky and then earthquakes through kansas city what's next for those central states avalanche warnings through utah and as well avalanche warnings through waterton lakes national park alberta Winter storm conditions continue along Alaska coastline. One tropical storm to talk about and tropical cyclone Habana seems to be still alive. Deep lower level troughs seems to be hanging around losing its moisture, but the center of the low is still heading west. And yeah, Habana has been now traveling for 12 days. That's the only tropical storm to talk about. South America was seeing some pretty extreme weather today. Hail conditions. Thunderstorm conditions. As well through Hawaii. Flooding conditions here. And as well as strong winds. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. Meteor Mike starting out here in Calgary, Alberta, home base. 
still seeing some very nice temperatures above seasonal as we are not even at spring yet still another week until spring you can see those cold temperatures coming later in the forecast but that large low pressure system on the west coast is the culprit for all of this warm pacific moisture flooding through the prairies right now high pressure ridge through center of canada is going to dry things out across the country pretty much and then coastlines and as well gulf states watch for a, a very intense system to develop wednesday into thursday and then ride the coastline straight up through the atlantic provinces and into greenland overlooking the atlantic ocean strong high pressure ridge locked itself over the united kingdom keeping things very dry and as well, keeping the low pressure system from Canada reaching Europe. But it looks like it just very interesting forecast right now. Check out this system that is going to be heading through Sweden and Norway down into Finland. This could be quite an extreme weather event as it, it's going to head southwards into the Mediterranean for the long range forecast. So stay tuned to the Morning Dew five-day forecast, and every day I'll be keeping you updated on all of the major weather events that are unfolding across our planet. Especially when you have hurricane-like conditions that just all of a sudden blew up over Russia. Massive dust storms that are blowing up over China. No major weather systems here to talk about through Asia. Big low pressure center here in the Pacific. Looks like it's still on track to the Aleutian Islands. Daily evaporation rains through Indonesia, Micronesia. Big system heading into parts of southeastern Australia and as well the coast through Sydney up to Brisbane. Could see some extreme weather there. Flash flooding conditions. Parts of the Northern Territory later in the week, watch for low pressure system to squirt out some moisture across most of the central Australia. Overlooking Hawaii, looks like the rains We'll move away finally by Friday or Saturday. High pressure ridge getting ready to clear things out. But watch as that high pressure ridge will be helping ramp up speed for this low pressure system. It's going to be heading into the west coast. Watch through BC. You could see some very windy and rainy events over the next week. And then watch it upper Midwest. You could see quite a big low come through maybe one last winter storm overlooking South America no major weather systems except for Argentina Chile border will be moving out by Thursday but daily evaporation rains nothing unusual overlooking Africa daily evaporation rains as well nothing major to talk about And as well through the Indies, no major systems, very dry. Going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern, pointing out the major systems that will be coming into play over the next five days. I want to thank you all for watching and welcome all of the new members. Thank you so much for over 30,000 followers. I love you all so much and I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.